So people usually make mistakes and tend to not to repeat them again. With Chelsea, it's the opposite. They make the mistake, they love the feeling, they come back and keep repeating it over and over again. Felipe Coutinho for 60 million to Chelsea is another one of those mistakes. And I'm going to break it down for you lot. And if you don't agree with me now, you will agree with me by the end of this video. So make sure you stick around and hear me out fully before you start keyboard worrying me and saying, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's think about it. Look at all these articles, all coming out at the same time. Someone is telling someone something, this deal is happening. Felipe Coutinho will not be at Bayern Munich next year. Felipe Coutinho will definitely not be at Barcelona next year. But the likelihood is Felipe Coutinho might be at Chelsea next year. Why? I ask you the question, why? What do we need? What does Felipe Coutinho have that deserves to be at Chelsea next year? Why is it that we're always the club? We're always the club to give to everyone that last opportunity. To give everyone that one last fuck up. Why is it it's always us? Coutinho is a very good player. Don't get me wrong. Coutinho is a player that improves the team to the point where he's their luxury good. That makes them the best team they could be. But he is not the player to join the team and elevate them to that level. He'll never elevate you. It happened at Liverpool. The minute Suarez left and the keys were given to him, Sterling took him off it. Sterling leaves, the keys were given to him, Firmino came and took it off him. He was never the guy. Why do you want that guy at this club? Went to Barcelona, can't handle the pressure, flopped. Messi dusted him out to Bayern Munich. At Bayern Munich, people are like he's performing great. If he was performing great, Bayern would keep him for that discounted price. Bayern want nothing to do with him. And neither should we. It's about time we stop acting like a kid that wants the shiny toy and starts acting like the responsible adult that wants the correct toy. Enough is enough. I am sick and tired of siding the has-beens. This isn't complicated, people. This really isn't. The equation you guys are trying to make doesn't really add up. We have three positions. We have a manager that doesn't rotate. Say what you want. Frank Lampard does not rotate. He likes to stick with what he knows. Injuries caused him to rotate as much as they did. Unless it's the back line, he does not rotate. So what does that mean? It means we have eight players for three positions already in centre midfield. We have three wingers for two positions. As Coutinho to the mix, you got a massive, massive, massive fuck up. That's what you do. Who's leaving? You guys want Ruben Loftus-Cheek on loan next year? Do you guys want Ruben Loftus-Cheek on loan next year? No, you don't. Do you want Mason Mount out of the team next year? No, you don't. You want our homegrown players. You want us to continue what we started. That's what I've been hearing the whole season. So why now for Felipe Coutinho, one little star shiny toy, you guys are willing to throw everything away? It never changes at this club. A lot of you forget easily, so I'm here to remind you really quickly about players that we've signed in the past because they had a shiny game, because they were has-beens, and they were offered on a discount at price, and the deal was too good to be true. Andrei Shevchenko, too good to be true. 30 million at that moment in time. He was world-class. It was stupid not to sign him. That's what I was told. Alexandre Pato, loan. Nothing to lose. Let's get him. Radamel Falcao, nothing to lose. Let's get him. Well, guess what? We lost wages, time and the opportunity of cost of giving someone else a chance. And now you're going to cost hudson Adoy or Ruben Loftus-Cheek an opportunity to become a Chelsea regular for what? Felipe Coutinho. For a player that's not good enough for anyone else in Europe. To do for a player that went from 120 million to 60 million. Please guys, if it's too good to be true, it means there's something wrong with it. Stop buying all this nonsense every single time. Basically, just admit it, you want a shiny toy and you don't care who it is. You don't care if it's Jeremy Boga, you don't care if it's Jaden Sancho. In reality, you don't even care if it's Felipe Coutinho. You just want that new toy. And sad but true, that's all you want. You want that new toy just to talk about the TL4. You don't care about what's best for the team. You never had. For you, it's all about bragging rights on the TL. Just admit it, it's perfectly fine. And realistically, it's sad but it's true. That's exactly what it is. You want Felipe Coutinho so you can brag on a TL. He's a buff guy. You're going to change his picture. You're going to change his kit. You're going to say, oh my God, look, Liverpool fans, ha ha ha, we have him. Instead of bragging about having Felipe Coutinho, let's actually brag about taking points of them and being above them in the league for once. This hasn't happened in a while. I want to get back to those days. Not going to lie to you.